I had always protected Curtis for the longest time. There were things about our relationship that I always protected it because in my heart, I always still loved him. So Vivica Fox made waves with a surprising claim about her ex 50 cent. She hinted that he might be concealing aspects of his sexuality, suggesting his public criticisms of others could be a diversion. Seems like he's got something that's not quite clear. This revelation ties into their messy past and ongoing feuds, especially following 50 Cent's recent comments about Empire. While the details of 50 Cent's private conversations remain unclear, he deleted a post criticizing Empire after realizing it included content he disagreed with. His representatives later stated that the post was removed because it didn't reflect his views. However, his ex, Vivica Fox, wasn't ready to let the matter rest. On Watch What Happens Live, when asked about 50 Cent's blog post criticizing the show's ratings, Vivica commented, the pot calling the kettle black. First of all, you know, uh, the pot calling the kettle back, black. Implying he might be guilty of the same things he criticized. She suggested that while 50 Cent might not be gay, there's something ambiguous about him and mentioned a magazine cover with Soulja Boy that fueled her suspicions. Vivica even tweeted a pointed remark, boom, that was for my Empire season two family, y'all, clearly trying to make a statement. After Vivica made comments about 50 Cent, both he and Soulja Boy quickly hit back on Instagram. Soulja posted an unflattering photo of Vivica with a caption calling her a desperate and washed up Kruger looking for attention. 50 Cent shared the same photo with a caption making a crude joke about Vivica and their past interactions and added more images of her with taunting captions. Despite this public feud, Vivica has expressed in interviews like one with Vlad TV that 50 Cent was the love of her life and always will hold a special place in her heart. The love that I had for him and still to this day um, will always like he was the love of my life. I will admit that without any reservation. She attributed the end of their relationship to going public too quickly and having too many people involved, which she believes ultimately damaged their bond. In a 2018 interview with Wendy Williams, Vivica Fox admitted she was still very attracted to 50 Cent. By 2023, on Sherry Shepard's talk show, she even suggested she would consider dating him again, drawing a parallel to Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's reunion. However, 50 Cent recently expressed regret about his past relationship with Vivica Fox, despite previously saying he wasn't bothered by her comments about potentially dating him again. A few weeks ago, he posted a clip from his 2003 BET Awards acceptance speech where he praised Vivica Fox's dress with the caption, I look back at some of the things I did, I gotta learn to shut up. I'm enjoying myself, this is a, this is a big change in my life. I'm just happy to be present for all of these beautiful people in here. You know, I wanna thank Vivica Fox for wearing that dress too. Look at that. Look at the end, that's trouble, what the this caption suggested he regretted hitting on Vivica, which might explain why she still questions his true nature. Vivica isn't alone in questioning 50 Cent's motives. There have been many other claims suggesting that 50 Cent frequently calls out others for being on the down low while potentially being the same himself. Singer Rufus Wayne once suggested that 50 Cent might have more than just a sweet tooth, expressing admiration for him and hinting at his sexuality. Rufus stated, I think he's incredibly sexy and a brilliant writer, and I know he's gay. That cute little voice of his, it's okay, 50 Cent. Feel free to call me anytime. My boyfriend and I are experts. You can come over for dinner and maybe dessert. Additionally, the game previously claimed that 50 Cent enjoys intimate activities, which could be a reason for his harsh criticism of Diddy, possibly reflecting a similarity between them. Diddy's ex Daphne Joy also hinted that 50 Cent shares traits with Diddy. She criticized him on Instagram for not being present as a father and suggested that 50 Cent's behavior 
was similar to Diddy. Daphne concluded with a dramatic statement about moving on from 50 Cent and letting her faith handle the situation, indicating deep disappointment and emotional damage from their past. So far, there's no solid proof that 50 Cent is on the down low. What do you think about Vivica Fox's comments suggesting otherwise? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.